Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa for those of you who are new here and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, as you can see by the title, it is me recreating my wedding day look. If you are new here, I am a brand new missus. I got married on June 24th. And if you haven't seen those videos, uh, check out my weekly vlogs. I have a lot of wedding DIY content as well as some other wedding stuff including a bridal try-on and what my experience was with that and if I had any, any helpful tips that I learned from that experience as well as other wedding stuff. Yeah, so check those down below. Not only do we have some wedding content, but we do a lot of DIY, makeup videos, lifestyle, fashion on this channel. So again, I would love if you subscribe and we also have a home search series. We call our home search gauntlet because in this market it definitely has been. And if you so subscribe if you're interested in home content and also there will be a lot more home content coming. If you have not checked out that series, highly recommend checking that out. It has some interesting information about buying in this particular market. Yeah. I am rambling. So what I am wearing, I've got these earrings on my honeymoon as well as this sarong. I um, actually made it into like a scarf top. <laughs> Thought it was kind of different. This bracelet is a gift from my husband or now husband. Yeah. So I will link everything down below if you're interested. A lot of the stuff I did not have that my makeup artist used, but I tried to use similar products to create this look. So. If you're interested in seeing how I got this and how my wedding day went, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I got you guys zoomed in and of course link everything down below as well as some of the vendors I'm gonna be talking about. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I already have my skincare on and I do have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on as well and that has sunk in for probably about 10, 15 minutes now. The primer that my makeup artist used, I think it was a I'm actually not 100% sure because each time we did a trial she used a different primer. So yeah, so I just used my Elf Poreless Putty Primer because that is actually the only primer I had. For foundation, as y'all know, or unless you are new here, <laughs> I am not a foundation girl. I just, I don't know, I just never have gotten along with foundations except this one, which is the Charlotte Tear Root. Uh, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I have it in the shade 3 and it's the neutral shade. Now this as you can see is a little light for me um, but we will try to make it work. So yeah and she actually applied most things with her fingers. Now I'm not gonna do that because that's just not my makeup or that's just not the way I like to apply makeup. I just like the idea of using brushes, it makes me feel more like an artist. And you know, when I'm putting on makeup, that's how I feel. I feel like it is, I really believe it is an art form. I just think it's just easier and also a little more sanitary, but she made sure like her hands were clean. Like she was very, very, very professional. But I'm gonna just stipple this on. Yeah, as you can see, this is like a little light compared to my neck. That's okay, I have bronzer and other stuff. So, where do I start? Overall, like, my wedding day was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. It, everything went smoothly. Actually, we were ahead of schedule pretty much the whole day, except for we waited a little longer on the ceremony to make sure all the guests came, and we let them stand inside the reception area. Uh, before going out into the ceremony because it was 102 degrees on a wedding day in Texas and it was up in Aubrey. It was at the Springs in Denton and it was the lodge location. Now I'll add some pictures and of course link all the vendors that I'm talking about down below if you are interested in our Dallas or DFW bride and looking for a wedding venue. They were really really they were really awesome, honestly. The only thing is that they really didn't offer a whole lot like as a venue. So they only offered, they are offered 15 hours. So I would, we had the venue from 9 a.m. till midnight, but everything had to be kind of shut down at 11 because they give you an hour to clean up. So that was nice. And then they set up all the tables and chairs, but that was about it. And then, and honestly, it was fairly affordable. Well, I mean, as you can see on the pictures, if you're not following me on Instagram, 
I'm going to be posting a lot of pictures. Obviously, that's... I just... I got them in a little over... Actually, almost a month ago. And I've been trying to work on, like, the wedding video. I haven't decided if I'm going to post it on here or not. I may post, like, a little short of it because a lot of my family members just don't like being on social media. And so I want to respect that. Oh, yeah. So they're really affordable. And they just... The venue had just such a cool Colorado, like, vibe. And obviously we didn't get married in Colorado, but it just had that feel and that's one of the things she really fell in love with. So the concealer that she used was actually the Urban Decay State Naked Concealer, which I don't have unfortunately, but I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer from my Project Pan in the shade Light. Now obviously you can see this is darker than my, <laughs> than my foundation, but it's okay. Like I said, we're going to make it work. And so I actually didn't have a wedding planner. I had a day of coordinator, which with her particular program, now the company is called Pretty Little Planners and the girl's name is Angela. She was fabulous. Her program that she had in the, or the, uh, her package, sorry, package is the better word. Her package, what, uh, her package that we went with, which was very affordable, was where for 45 days prior to your wedding day she will take over communications and coordinate with all of your vendors that you're using she will i'm using the elf camel concealer in light sand also for my project pan as like an eye primer and so she took over all the coordination and actually she set up all of my centerpieces she set up the games i have for the kids that were coming and yeah, she was fantastic and I highly recommend her, especially if you're on a budget. She did great. And the, the other thing too is a lot of my vendors I found through going to the open house at the venue, which I definitely recommend as well because a lot of times, actually because they already gonna have vendors that they already have working relationships with and they, oh gosh, I'm like a little off because it's been a while since I have sat down and filmed, so I'm just like a little all over the place. Anyways, they already have working relationships with the vendors that they usually include on their open house. Now, I'm not saying this is like the truth for everybody, but this is just what I know. That's how I found a lot of my vendors. So they already all had like working relationships, like photographers, new both DJ, caterer, and planner. And the only new people, I guess, that the, the, like everyone didn't really work with was my uh, baker for the cake, cookies, and muffins. And yeah. So again, I'll link all of the vendors I use down below. So the day, honestly, went really smooth. There was no major hiccups. There was like a little, mis like, com like little mistakes. But in the grand scheme of things, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> It went as best as I could have expected and I, I just honestly I had a great time. The pictures you can see, everyone, like my dad, <laughs> my grandmother who is so cute, my Oma, she uh, would talk about how like she felt like she was in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Every time she walked around she was like, I feel like I'm in a Hallmark movie and she was just so excited. She's, and also I'm filming this almost a month after a uh, later and she's like still talking about it to everybody so for powder so that's the thing my makeup artist didn't use any cream products which i thought was kind of interesting but she wanted to make sure i was powdered and set uh because it was 102 degrees and it was humid so she, yeah she didn't use any cream products which i found kind of interesting the powders that she used the powder that she used was the cody airspun powder which i don't have so i'm just going to go in with my typical powders and set everything. So right now I'm using the middle uh, matte highlight from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. No, the Skin Twinkle palette, sorry. It's, I feel like it's from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Anyways, I'm a little all over the place. And right, just to kind of set everything down. And then uh, since my foundation is like a little light, I'm actually going to go into my Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation in the shade Neutral Ivory. And I'm just gonna powder everything to kind of also help match it too. Oh yeah, so it overall it went really, really well. I was extremely happy with how it went. Everything went smooth. There, 
the, the hiccups were Jordan forgot a belt, <laughs> which was so funny. But luckily his brother had a belt with him when they went to lunch and he wore that. And then the shirt he bought didn't have a, a little hole for cufflinks, which he wanted to wear his grandfather's cufflinks. And unfortunately, he couldn't wear them. However, he just took some detailed pictures of them and then put them in his pocket, in his chest pocket, which I thought was really cute. That was the thing, like, my whole way, there was a lot of, like, family sentiment. So I know I've talked about this where my mom wore my Oma's dress and when I tried it on, my plan was, well, originally my plan was to wear it, but when I tried it on, I just knew it wasn't my dress. So I... <laughs> So I ended up taking portraits in it and then I've gifted the portraits and gifted a portrait to Oma and then as well as a bridal portrait to my other grandmother uh, in my real dress and then uh, my grand I gave Jordan's grandmother uh, a picture. So I gave Jordan's grandmother uh, an engagement picture which I thought was like that was a nice sweet sentiment and then I had the portraits like my grandmother in her wedding dress, my mother in the same wedding dress, and me in the wedding in the wedding dress uh, displayed, and I got to take pictures of it with all three of them. Like it was, there was a lot of sentimental family connection, which is what I really wanted. And you know, because in the reality of marriage, you are joining two families, and there were, you know, I am definitely a very sentimental person. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, airbrush bronzer in the shade two medium. I got this when I purchased the foundation. The bronzer that Taya used was in a, oh my gosh, I wanna look it up. I think it was, was it two, no, it was an Urban Decay uh, palette. Yeah, so she used, overall she used uh, Urban Decay Too Faced and yeah, honestly, those are the two brands that she used. So she used, oh, that's what it, yeah, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome uh, Face Palette. And I don't have that, but so she kept everything pretty matte. And so this is a very matte, ooh, this is a very matte uh, bronzer. And it, wow, it looks really dark and really red on camera, but it actually works really good for me. Okay, where was I at? Uh, yeah, so the the thing of like with our wedding is that we wanted to be very sentimental, very family oriented. We wanted it to be very us. And I, you know, I'm a lover of vintage. Like I said, like my whole idea was to wear that wedding dress, and unfortunately, that's not the case. Well, fortunately slash unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I ended up not. Gosh, I love this bronzer. I ended up not wearing it on the day, but I did portraits in it, and those are something that I will have forever. The memories that I have of like showing my Oma, because she kind of like got the idea of what I was doing. Like she did, but she didn't. It was the funniest thing because like I told her I had it. I told her I was taking like I told her these things. When I gifted it to her, she just like bawled, and she was it was very sweet. And you know, it was, it's been really hard. Uh, without my grandfather because she was very very close with him. That's why in the some of the pictures you will see on the garland a orange tulip and that was supposed to be representative of him and when she walked down the aisle like I had all the women so my grandmothers, both mothers, and Jordan's sister carry like a bouquet and when she walked down the aisle she carried an orange tulip. And I thought that was so it was very like sweet like definitely it was like definitely a big thing but it was also fun as well there's yeah so there's like a couple of things like that didn't go exactly how i wanted but i also had that expectation that that something was going to go wrong and it was just going to be okay because i would rather have a very very happy long lasting marriage than the most perfect wedding day now I know, I know nothing is perfect and that's probably why I have that mentality, but I will say this, if I can give any advice to any bride out there, be really firm on what you want to even to the people around you because if they truly are supportive of you and your day and what you are wanting and understand that this is a very important day to you, they will be fine. And. There was some, there were some things that like I felt like through this whole experience that 
did not go my way and I think I could have been or what didn't go the way I wanted but I think I could have a lot of some of it is actually my fault of the fact that it didn't go my way because I wasn't firm I wasn't stern about my like no this is what I want and you know I gotta remind you guys like the sprites like realistically you only get this time once you know I know in this day and age you know divorce and second marriage their marriage is uh, you know around however the goal at this point in time in your life is you only get to do this once you don't you only get to be a bride once you only get to have a bridal shower once you only get to have a bachelorette once and remember that and you know don't be overboard like I'm not saying be bridezilla but at the same time this is at the end of the day your day and your time to you know be in the spotlight and have it be about you and you know, me personally, like, I have friends around me that are getting married. Like, my roommate, actually, they're getting married. And, you know, I'm being part of, you know, I'm fortunately a part, in, a part of the bridal party. And I, you know, I just tell her, like, anything you need. Like, your true friends and true people that are going to support you under, understand this. And then we'll be like, okay, if we can make it happen, let's make it happen. And have that mindset. And there are times that I, I didn't get that. And I think I could have done a better job of being more vocal about how I really felt about it. And so that's kind of on me. But oh, like I said, overall, it was a fantastic day. And I, you know, I'm not even thinking of if I can go back, I would do this. Like, I, I don't even think I truly have that because, or I have that feeling of regret. I mean, the one thing I do regret, honestly, is just not being as forthcoming with expressing how important things are to me. Like, cause yeah, I'm pretty laid back, I'm pretty chill. So that can also be translated of like, oh, she doesn't really care, so I can just do what I want, kind of a thing. So that there were some things that I messed up, but that's on me, that's not on anybody else, you know? But like I said, overall, I'm super happy with how the day went. Like, I'm really happy. But anyways, so, okay, going on. So my brother was the officiant and <laughs> he was really nervous about it but he did a great job we kind of scripted something for him and he like i said he did a great job but it was great and that's that's what i'm saying like we had a lot of people really involved like my grandmother helped me with all the flowers and so my mom helped make the bridesmaids gifts they got these totes and it was so cute because it was true to them it was in their favorite color and what they like like my in-laws love horseback riding and so their their bags had horses on it and then like for the boys, um, Jordan got them socks and this like multi-tool thing. It was very, like I said, it was a, trying to be about the family and being true to what really this day is about. And I think we accomplished that. My dad kept saying, he's like, you pulled it off. It's a beautiful wedding and you did a great job. Um, we had an open bar with corn and rye and then our caterer was Patriotic Pig, which was amazing barbecue if you're in the keller area of the dfw like highly recommend them and our kate uh, our baker was butter and twine and she did a f she did so fabulous with cake that she did exactly one one something simple with white and then we were gonna add the same flowers that i used so i gave her like leftovers and she put together i found this cake holder cake tray at Target, which was like I said, I'll link everything down below. And our cake topper was really cute, it was soccer oriented and said, you know, Mr. and Mrs. and had our date. And it was us, like the bride and groom figure, clinking champagne glasses with the soccer ball underneath their feet. It was really, really cute. So, overall, like the feeling, everything went smooth. We had a guest book. Actually, I need to continue with makeup or else I'll be here all day. So for blush, she used the Too Faced blush like from the Butterfly Spring Collection. Again, I don't have, but she was this pinky tone, kind of like this Essence blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. But yeah, and uh, we had, I like got a DIY, like the seating chart, which unfortunately kind of fell apart, which sucked, but everyone got to their seats. And honestly, after dinner, everyone starts like socializing and, you know, socializing with everybody. So everyone's just kind of sitting everywhere. Oops, I put on way too much of that, even though I did like barely any. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that here in a second. Because she actually didn't put like a whole, like a whole lot of blush. So I will, yeah, um, we had so much fun. So my bachelorette actually was the 
Wednesday before. No, like I was gonna like kind of, I was gonna vlog everything. I just ended up, I honestly kind of got like overwhelmed and burned out and like my family was here. And like I said, a lot of them don't like to be on social media. So I was trying to respect that. For highlight, she used so for highlighter, she used a combination of like a cream and powder highlight combination just to add it, but it wasn't like overwhelming. It was just like a little bit of a glow. So I'm going to go in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So for, for my Bachelorette, I actually had it two nights before the wedding, which is Wednesday, which everyone was like, why are you doing it then? I was like, because I don't, that's when my, you know, best friend from California came and that, and you know, that's the earliest she could get a flight out and I wanted like ultimately my I wanted you know all my girls there my my whole bridal party and so that's what I wanted to do so we ended up going to dinner and then like I ended up back here and just like playing games and hanging out and we did like a lingerie game where you have to guess who brought what lingerie which I thought was kind of fun gosh I love this highlighter so pretty and so yeah and then we had the rehearsal dinner the night before of course it was at city works in frisco and like the food was delicious they accommodated us it was really nice it was kind of annoying because my family that came into town they wanted to kind of make their own reservations but because there were so many people that wanted to do it it just ended up not working out like the restaurant is not that big and so that was a little disappointing like that yeah that was that was a little disappointing because i wanted to like greet everybody i wanted to see everybody because that wedding is like you really don't get to socialize like a whole lot especially if you're the bride and groom so it's that was a little disappointing but it it turned out fine let's see what else am i missing oh yeah Brittany barkley was my photographer fabulous she did our engagement picture she did my bra like she did all of it and like she great also affordable as well but you're getting top notch she was great to work with i would recommend her and i think she like her and her team where she has like people around her that do like maternity so way future maybe we'll do that um, but yeah highly recommend she was great to work with and she so and she loved my idea with the bridles of doing any star eyes so for eyes she used a bunch of different palettes so she used a uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. She used the Urban Decay Born to Run. She used some Urban Decay Naked Palette. So she used a combo of things. And for like the shimmers and stuff, she applied them with her fingers. So she loved using her fingers and it looked so flawless on. And sorry, I was like, I'm not even gonna argue it. <laughs> so unfortunately I don't have those palettes. I'm gonna go into my two color pop palettes, my newest ones, the Twist the Slate and the Set in Stone. And then I'm also might go into the Elf Earth and Ocean for some of the browns and greens in here, as well as some of the uh, shimmers. So what she did, like when we talked about like our the like look I'm going for, it was just like glam, but like this bronzy kind of smoky eye. And so she kept layering and layering and layering these different brown tones, like both warm and cool. And it created a beautiful look. So I'm gonna go start in with the Set in Stone palette. Unfortunately, one of this palette, uh, this shade kind of shattered, but I am gonna go in to the shade So Chiseled, and I'm just kind of lightly put that in the crease to kind of start everything off. But yeah, so oh, Brittany, she was great to work with. She loved uh, like my whole idea of you know doing the pictures in my grandmother's wedding dress and. She was like even came up with a really cool idea of doing like a side by side composite portrait and I'll like I'll put that up here somewhere. And it was it turned out amazing. It was so cool. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. Now for a warning, I'm not gonna be able to completely accomplish this. I look perfectly like I had it, but I'm kinda going based off pictures and what I remember her doing that's with this whole makeup look and yeah so I'm gonna try to get this as close to what it was but we'll see if I can accomplish it all of my vendors like I said I will uh, link down below because they were great I had no complaints food on point we had an open bar which was great we had signature drinks um, <laughs> uh, the cake tasted delicious it was funny like I even 
put some frosting on Jordan's nose, even though he knew, I knew he wasn't gonna like smash it, smash my face in the cake, but I'm a little bit of a prankster, or I enjoy doing pranks, and you know, sometimes Jordan hates them. They bring, and that's the thing I think that makes us work so well, is I'm a little bit more outgoing, a little more talkative, a little more, I like, I joke more, and he's, a little more stoic, a little more quiet, can be a little more serious. So I think he kind of like takes me down a notch and like try, you know, has me, you know, he helps me be serious, even though like I can be serious, but like it's not that I like get toned down because I don't think that's the right word. I think I bring out like the silliness in him, and I think that's one of the great things that like balances that's we balance each other out in that sense. Okay, I'm gonna go in to, I'm trying to figure out the dark color. I think that's too red for what you did. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Sleek Over in the Twist of Sleep palette. I'm just gonna like barely dab because this looks really dark. And kind of build that outside. Yeah, look how dark that is. <laughs> I don't think that was the right color. It's okay, we'll figure it out. But yeah, so we balance each other out. Okay, so after the cake, so the way I had like the wedding kind of set up is that I knew I wanted to be on the dance floor as much, oh, that blended out really nice, as much as possible. So what I wanted to do is that I didn't want to like go into our first dance like right away when we entered. Oh, well, that was the other thing. I mean, I'm just going all over the place, so I'm sorry if this video is just like a little all over the place, but I just, I have so much to talk about and I want to get to it all. So we walk, oh, well, I walked, had my processional be um, Wildest Dreams by Duomo. Thank you, Bridgerton, for that. And it was funny, my sister in law was just like, Did you pick a Bridgerton song for us to walk down, down the aisle? And I was like, Yep. She goes, Dude, that was perfect. And I thought it was so funny. That she picked that up because her and I like um, love the the series. Like she's read all the books, and I'm in the process of reading all of them, and so that's like we've been kind of talking about that, and it's been fun. Anyways, and then I walk down the aisle to Brent Morgan's "Kiss the Girl" because Little Mermaid is like my favorite princess from Disney, and Disney is one of our Jordan and I's like mutual loves. Like he loves Star Wars. I mean, he loved Disney even before you know. Disney bought Lucas Films, and I walked down the aisle to Brett Morgan's Kiss the Girl, and we had it time, so like the procession went out, and the ceremony site had a little bit, it's a shorter aisle, but they have these two bushes, so my dad and I stopped at the two bushes, and then the DJ turned it to Brett Morgan's Kiss the Girl, and that was Jordan's cue to turn around and see me, and it's, you know how it says, like, there you see her, like, it was, like, sounds like a movie moment but it really felt like a movie moment and the photographers did a great job of capturing him getting emotional which he did and it was honestly overall like an emotional day I guess all day he was nervous the boys were telling me it was pretty funny um but I'm like what is there to be nervous about and I think it's because I've hyped up like the dress and all these things so much which uh it was fun like I said <laughs> it's just I like joking and you know I'm like pranking it's I'm trying to decide for like the shimmer what she did because she was using all kinds of shit like the she was going back and forth from all three of those palettes and so yeah like i said i walked down the aisle to quit morgan's kiss the girl and then i don't even remember jordan picked some of the music and i was just like okay that's up to you like fine whatever i'm actually gonna go into do i want to go there i'm actually gonna go into the shade dimension which is like this darkest shimmer and I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics number 6 brush and I'm just going to kind of like... So we entered our reception with Goofy Movies Eye to Eye. Now the funny thing about that is that was one of like the first Disney movies he and I watched together when we were dating. And ever since then like uh, Sierra, our roommate, has joked like that we're Max and Roxanne because it's a funny movie and that was so we entered into our reception with eye to eye and so we entered the reception and then my dad did a you know bless the food this uh prayer before we started eating we went into eating because i knew that by the time this comes around it's like seven o'clock oh yeah that was the other thing 
the bridal party was like, this is the best wedding ever. And I was like, why? And because we went up to the bridal suite after the ceremony and taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. Our planners, Angela and her team, brought us a whole plate of all appetizers for all of us to, for all of us to eat while like I'm getting bustled, signing the marriage license. They were like, we never get to eat before. Like we never get to go to cocktail hour. And so they're like, this is, this is top notch. Like this beats all the other weddings just because we got to eat. And I was just, I was laughing. So I highly recommend that. Like have your uh, planner bring up the, because uh, you picked all the appetizers and half the time you don't even get to, uh, you know, enjoy them. So I would suggest doing that. I'm just gonna kind of blend this out like a little bit. Yeah, so we got to have cocktail or uh, we got to have like the appetizers, which was so good. There was a, uh, it was really hard to blend and shy eyeshadow and talk at the same time. There was a, Mac brisket macaroni was so good. I think that was like the favorite of everybody. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that shimmer. Oh, this video is all over the place, but it's just super chatty rid of me as I try to recreate my bridal look. Anyways, um, we had a dinner and then uh, like we got obviously served first and so we got served first and so after we were done eating by the way they like overloaded our place i was like oh my god this is too much i'm not gonna be able to finish it so after we yeah they overloaded our plates so after we finished eating and they kept getting us drinks like i didn't i only had to go to the park once like the everyone was just like making sure we our uh, coordinator made coordinating team made sure we had everything we need and so did the caterers bartenders they like were making sure that you know we were thirsty hungry you name it like they made sure we were all good and so after we kind of like ate and we were just like all so excited and Jordan loved the dress and so we got to like walk around and then after about like 45 minutes oops sorry that was like blinding you after about 45 minutes, we did speeches. Lauren did a really nice toast to Jordan's brother, the best man. And then we opened it up for anyone to speak or say something nice. And it was really cute. The, uh, Jordan's grandmother and sister said something as well as one of his groomsmen. And it was very nice. And that part was pretty touching. Okay, so I'm going to go into the this golden shade called Concrete. I'm going to put that on the main portion of the lid. So it was really, really sweet. And then, so after that, we went and cut the cake. Then after that, we went into our dances. And so we did our first dance, which was a choreographed dance. So if you haven't been following my vlogs, we did do a, or we did work with a choreographer, dance instructor, and we choreographed a dance. And our song was by Restless Road um, called Growing Old With You. And it was, really cute like the cute story about how we i saw them on like instagram they were popping up on my reels and i was like oh that's like a cute song and so originally uh, for the longest time i've always wanted journey faithfully because i'm a huge 80s girl and that is a classic ballad but as much as i wanted to be it didn't really feel like us you know it didn't feel right and then when i played the song Jordan, he actually got emotional, which I thought was super cute. And I was like, well, I can't pick any other song now. So we picked that song. And I'm gonna try to post like somewhere the dance because I think it's just such, it's so cute. And like I said, it's by Restless Road, Going Old With, old with You. If you haven't heard of it, I highly recommend, especially if you're a country lover. Okay, and then the next shade, I'm gonna just add a little bit of pop of like bronze tone. I'm gonna go into Fortunate One. And everyone was just like in awe. They were so excited. And my mom was just like, you guys did such a good job. It was so elegant and it was beautiful. Like you guys, like everyone kept saying that, like this is, you guys did an amazing job. It actually looks a little more cool tone than what I was going for. I should have that though. So this is not really exactly how like it was. It was definitely a little more bronzy. So hold on, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna add something else. Anyways, I just put that silvery kind of shade in the center and then I'm actually gonna go back into Set in Stone and I'm gonna go into the shade Hammer Time and put that on the outer edge. 
and then blend all that together and then I should be almost done with the eyes <laughs> yeah and because Jordan's not really like a dancer like dancing's not like his thing which is fine like it doesn't need to be you know and so it, like and I tell people I always credit him like this was his idea he wanted he wanted to do this he wanted to take lessons he wanted he wanted to do all this everyone always is like shocked he's like I said like, people know him no he's not he's not a dancer that's like not his thing and it like and the <laughs> it's so funny we watched the video now of us dancing and uh <laughs> he like kind of gets mad sometimes because he's like oh I messed up there I messed up there because he, he's super competitive just like I am and we wanted to do it right and we wanted it to look good and no one knew everyone was just like nothing looked did you guys mess up because it didn't look like it and I was like yeah we did a couple of times we did a good job if that was the case and we did and we, that's okay but we wanted to live in the moment like we added some turns that we didn't need to add and like but we wanted we wanted to be in the moment and it it turned out so well and then it was funny like though yeah the dj was was from alliance entertainment dj hutch again recommend him he did an amazing job he did he went above and beyond and i wasn't expecting him to do some of the things he did like i'll get to that in a second but when so we did our first dance father daughter dance mother son dance and so we went to the father daughter dance like the dj came on and was like how are you gonna how are you gonna follow that <laughs> and like you know kind of teasing and it was fun and my dad that's um, that's when my dad was telling me like you know you did a really good job you you guys pulled it off and it's it's a it, you've done a fabulous job and you, like I, he just kept complimenting us and and me and I was just and he kept saying how proud he was and it's just like those special moments it's just uh, warms my heart and you know it makes me makes me he makes it feel more like the perfect day even though nothing is perfect but like I, those are things I'm going to remember like forever. When I talked to Taya I definitely wanted to add color just to add a pop and so I wanted to add Jordan's favorite color which is like a dark green and also implement like some of our colors and so because I'm going to have like blue jewelry on. Oh yeah by the way he uh, he gifted me this uh, bracelet on our wedding day. And it's super cute. It has sapphires, which is my first our first stone. I've been looking. I was looking for a bracelet, and I well, I couldn't really. I didn't really find a bracelet that I wanted to wear on the wedding day, so I just went without. And then he surprised me with this. So I wanted to include green. So she used the dark green from the Born to Run palette, which unfortunately I don't have. And I thought the green and Earth and Ocean would work, but I'm actually going to go into the Child palette and use this green. And I'm just going to run it really sharply along the lower lash line. And then so after the dances, like the dance floor is pretty much open. Everyone was socializing. I was surprised that because how, how hot it was. People started to go outside onto the balcony and walking around. I was just like, do you know it's like hot in here? Or do you not, or hot out there? Or do you just not? Uh, I think people wanted to like, you know when they were like almost like dismissed or whatever when there wasn't really anything else like at that time like planned like the cake was cake was cake was already cut dances were already done some people actually left after all of that because they had somewhere else to be unfortunately which is fine i appreciate them making the drive out there regardless okay, nice. then i'm just going to kind of blend that out to make it a little less uh, harsh so as you can see, like it has like a pop green, which is funny because it makes my eyes look green too, which my eyes are not. Okay, and then for eyeliner, which I'm probably gonna go off camera. I don't know, we'll see. She used like, we did like a little bit of a wing, but nothing dramatic or crazy. She used an off-brand eyeliner, which I don't have. So I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in Ultra Black. This is also in my project pan. And so she went in and just did a very, very tight line and did a little bit of a wing. So this will be, this will be fun because <laughs> I'm not that good at these. It was actually interesting when she went to, to do like the, like figure out where the dot or the point was. She actually went and did a dot, which I've never really seen before. So I'm just going to do that first. Now for a wing. I'm going to put, I'm probably not even going to make a wing as big as she did to be honest. Uh, actually now I'm looking closer at the eyes like I think I got it pretty spot on. Okay so after 
yeah after all that we went and did sunset pictures and like it almost kind of gave everyone like a break too i think as well to kind of like socialize with other people maybe they haven't seen like some family members haven't seen each other in a while some friends and actually after we came after we came back or during toast anyways so the dj did a game where like because he knew that a lot of people were coming from out of town so he did a game where whoever traveled the farthest like got a prize and you know <laughs> He started out, he's like, okay, who traveled 100 miles, 500 miles, 600? And like, of course, half my family was like, had their hands raised for like the longest time. And he looked at me, he's like, 800 miles? I was like, you need to go higher. And he goes, higher? And so he starts going 1,200 miles, 1,300 miles. And I think the winner was my friends from San Francisco, or who live in San Francisco. They're my uh, parents' high school friends, and we all, like, and their kids, and we all grew up together. It was like, for all their family, honestly, you know, each other from that long, your family. And I think it ended up being like 13, 1300 miles or something like that. And he gifted them a Whataburger gift card, which I thought was really clever. We didn't ask him to do that. We, I, I, I thought it was great. And <laughs> so it was just so fun. And then we went and did our sunset pictures, and then the dance floor was on. Like, we were on the dance floor pretty much the entire I think I took one break to go get a drink like okay so just a break second I'm um, going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara now she introduced me to this mascara she used it at one of my bridal trials and she's like dude go get it and so I bought it in this like mini set with the regular and waterproof version and I knew how this day was gonna be so I was like I'm gonna do the waterproof version and that's a thing I didn't wear lashes on this day and my and you can still see them and I don't think I missed them honestly. And she did the technique where you go on top and over. Yeah, I really like this mascara. I definitely see the hype of it. Um, so I definitely recommend. Most honestly all the products that I've used today and the products that she used, I definitely recommend. They did great on my wedding day. They, they lasted all day. I mean, she kind of convinced me to buy a couple things, like a little foundation, like foundation, started utility products, this mascara. Like, it was not the best for my bank account, but it was definitely necessary because it's like, if I'm doing shoots or, you know, filming and I need it to last a long time because I batch film, like, a lot of my videos you need the makeup to last well and then also when I go into the office like now I'm pretty much working from home full-time but when I go into the office I need it to last all day so yeah so the dance party was on and then so of course I had to bring Jordan and I'm pretty sure if you've been to college or if you just kind of been around for a while you know what icing means it's when you hide a Smirnoff ice and then when someone finds it, they have to chug it. So when we come to the garter toss, <laughs> um, I iced him, I hid. So my planner, I notified my planner and the photographer about it. So I let my planner and photographer know like that I wanted to do this. So like, okay, perfect. So I bought the ice and, and um, actually my friend Andrea did because at one point I just like didn't have time. I was like, you know, what, forget it. We're not gonna do it because I don't have time to go get it. And she came in clutch and bought the ice. Um, I'm actually gonna go in. So we did a nude water a uh, nude water line. So I'm gonna go in with my cream gel liner in the shade Honey Dude. I forgot which one she. I think she used. Uh, actually, hers was like a weird off brand I've never heard of. Just to brighten up my eye. When we got ready for the guard, so that's the other thing. I didn't wear my garters at all. I just put on my the and I made my garters. So I just put um, the big fancy one on for pictures and then the other garter um, my planner had and she so what the photographer did is like she distracted Jordan and then um, while she was distracting him the planner came over handing me the ice I just kind of stuck in between my legs so that way yeah you're not carrying a bottle of uh, smear off ice around all day like that would be horrible and I'm also going to go in with the my essence pure nude highlighter and well, uh, actually I need to do my brows. I haven't done my brows yet. Anyways, I had the smart off between my legs and then I put on the like toss garter so that way I can keep like my nice fancy one or whatever. 
which by the way I did not know about until I started doing the whole wedding planning process and so she did that and then he came over he did it to Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins if you haven't watched Top Gun I don't know how else you would know that music <laughs> that song but uh, he did that and he was like all confident it was the cutest thing he came sliding in and he was gonna take it off with his mouth <laughs> so he went under and then he kept he said he kept hitting his head on something he didn't figure out what it was and he looked up and he saw it and then he like just got out of like got out from the dress and just like covered his eyes it was so funny and he realized what was happening so <laughs> yeah so I iced Jordan and that was pretty funny <laughs> Uh, the bouquet toss. Uh, one of my co-workers actually got the bouquet, which is funny because she got just recently got engaged, so that was pretty funny. And then what else? Oh yeah, after the garter toss, this is something like I thought was so cool. The DJ, the DJ got all the boys out, every married, not married, and he did uh, the Carlton or like Prince of Bel Air Carlton dance from Jump on and from Jump on it, and she had it. He had a um, and he had them dance to that and do that dance like all the guys. It was so funny and bless my friend Andrea because I told her just like, hey, make sure you film the dance. She went above me on. She filmed everything. She filmed uh, us getting ready. She filmed our speeches. She filmed the everywhere in the reception. She had it set up to where uh, you film the dance floor. So she did everything. And by the way, I got that on camera. So it was... <laughs> Which is probably why my family doesn't want that video out. But anyways, I felt yeah, it got all filmed, and that was just such so cool. And then um, you know, instead of doing like sparklers or whatever for the exit, I thought you know what, let's get some cool neon glow sticks, party shades, like you name it, so all the light up ones. That, and I got everything on Amazon. Um, if you have questions about that, um, you can just let me know, or I can link them down below. I'll probably end up linking them. Anyways, and so when it got to like maybe a point where it was just like, yeah, everyone's dancing, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All the neon stuff came out and uh, it was just like the party turned up even more. It was so much fun. DJ did great of mixing up dances, going slow, fast, like all that, you name it. And then we used, the, everyone grabbed the glow stick and all, anything neon, whatever. And then we lined up um, in between the tables. So that when we do the exit and we get the picture for the glow sticks, you get the fireplace. And so, yeah, that was, that was it. So, okay, back to the makeup. I know I'm jumping a little bit, so I'm sorry. But I was just so excited about my day and it was in like this makeup, like it's not exactly how it was, but it is pretty darn close and it was amazing. Okay, so for brows, she actually didn't use a brow glue. She didn't do any of this. She filled it in with eyeshadow, which I'm not even going to attempt to try. So I'm going to use the NYX Professional Makeup brow, uh, Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. And that's just all I'm going to do. I'm just going to brush them up. Yeah, she didn't. She just used eyeshadow. Oh, that was the other thing. So for like my skin care and all that, she wanted me to get my eyebrows waxed. And I was just like, nah, I don't really feel like I need it, blah, blah. So she's like, well, at least like shave everything and uh, shave your face or shave around them or pluck them, you know, to make sure everything goes on smooth so I literally got up in the morning and I shaved my face did my skincare it was honestly the whole idea like I recommend that just like waking up early going slow like I was I barely could sleep the night before so there there's no wonder I woke up early and and honestly when she was like putting my makeup on she's like oh my god everything is coming out smooth so smooth although it's funny <laughs> it was funny because like at uh, one point, like, she's doing the bronzer or whatever, and I don't think, yeah, she didn't do any creams or anything or whatever, and she, uh, it got, like, super patchy right here. We were looking at her like, what the heck is happening? And so she was able to fix it, luckily, but she was like, I don't know what happened there, but everything else is, like, so smooth. Shaving your face was such a good idea, and she's like, dude, everything looks so, like, everything was just easy for her, and that's what, at least, for the most part, yeah, so that's what she was saying. She's like, yeah, everything looks good. And she's like, she kept complimenting on the place because she'd never been there before. And yeah, it was, yeah, she was fantastic. So if you are in the area, DFW area, 
highly recommend her for both hair, makeup, bridal, non-bridal. I don't know if she does any non-bridal stuff, but I know for sure she does bridal, bridal hair. And she's the one that does actually cuts my hair. And so I was like, yep, you're going to do my hair on the wedding day. And she's like, I can do your makeup too. I was like, perfect. I'll take it. Because I, she wears like a full beat like when she's at work. And I was like, okay, perfect. Like, trust her. And worst case scenario, I can fix it. You know, I wouldn't want to, but I can. So these brows actually look a lot bolder than what she did. But this is like how I like to do my brows. Okay, now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I'm going to go in with my same highlight. Um, my shoes actually that I wore um, were the six inch platform heels, which everyone was like, are you crazy? I said, well, my soon to be husband, well now husband at the time, is 6'2 uh, and I am 5'5. Five five. I need to get a little closer, you know? <laughs> Gotta get a little bit closer to him. Fall's wow, makeup turned out so good. Uh, yeah, and it was just, yeah, Taylor did a fabulous job with my hair and, and like everything. Well, yeah, my shoes are from Amazon. Yeah, I was talking about my shoes. Let me do. <laughs> my shoes are from Amazon and they were navy suede and I was, um, got them pretty early. One, because I knew I was going to need to, you know, hem my dress and, uh, <laughs> and also to practice the dance you want to practice in the shoes which i recommend if you are and i hope your choreographer if you are doing choreographed dance uh tells you to practice in your shoes so that way you're comfortable in them and you also kind of bring them in a little bit and you can also if like they get scuffed up you can also have time to clean them you name it anyways so everything went really good um for perfume i used the republic Repu uh, replica fireside perfume we got a mini version of that actually in like a little kit of different perfumes that they offer and i wore that on my wedding day uh, for my jewelry i did uh i brought my earrings were borrowed my necklace was a necklace that my parents gifted me which is my first stone and diamonds which was, sap was sapphire and diamonds and then i got the wore this bracelet and then i had my you know normal rings and yeah that was that was it like everything just like i said went smooth although like the pictures i'm a little disappointed that i like, do look a little bloated um but you know that's again moo point like everything else did so good veil looked great and uh our letters to each i actually got emotional which, uh, uh, when i was reading the letter uh, to Lauren up at, uh, at the altar. I was not expecting that and I did, I did get emotional. I was like, whoa. I think it just, I think finally hit me on that day. That's the other thing. It didn't really hit me. Like the whole day I was so busy and then like helping girls with hair, makeup, organizing things, getting pulled by the planner saying, hey, is this right? Does this need to be fixed? Blah, blah, blah. Like you name it. And, um, <laughs> It didn't hit me until I didn't have anything else to do. Like in terms of like, okay, now we're done. Like everyone's ready. Like everyone's gonna get dressed. Like you're done. And then it just like finally hit me. I was like, oh my god, I'm actually getting married. Like there's no. That seems to happen with me. I don't know if it happens with anybody else. Is like I shut off everything else and just like get things done. And for this whole time, I felt like. I haven't really, get, it wasn't like my wedding that I was getting ready for. It was like, oh, I'm just helping somebody else. Cause I've been around weddings a lot and through work as well as just the fact that I have a huge family. So I've been in weddings, I've been some friends weddings. And so it just kind of like felt that way. It's just like, oh, I'm just doing another wedding. Like, you know, um, which it actually has been a few years since I've been like a part of a wedding and, um, and then it hit me of like, and I was starting to get anxious and nervous and just that excitement, nervousness, um, when it was my turn and I was just like, okay, like my, uh, my turn to like get ready. And I was just like, oh, there's only else to be, oh, oh crap. You know? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good day. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my lip. So I did this combo uh, so for my lip and then we can finish out this video i used the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in pill and um, pillow talk as my lip liner and then i used the maybelline superstay matte ink in the shade seductress and then i used the color pop and then for like a touch up i used the color pop 
Luxe lipstick in the shade Kate. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the two, which is just going with the lip liner and then the liquid lipstick. I know this lip formula is like an oldie, but it is a goodie and it lasts the entire night. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out. So this is the final look of me attempting to recreate my bridal look as well as talk all things wedding. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this look. Maybe got some inspiration for your bridal look if you are a future bride as well as maybe some helpful tips on my experience of this whole wedding process. Um, I know this, uh, this what, uh, video was a little all over the place, but I was just kind of so excited to talk about it and you know recreate this look using the products that one I purchased because of the products my makeup artist used as well as uh, try to recreate it with products I already have. So yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the like button if you did and comment down below, you know, if you are a future bride and um, if you enjoyed this look as well as what you plan on wearing or what is the theme and what is the look you are going for on your wedding day. And yeah, and subscribe for new videos every single week. I know the wedding is over so there's not going to be a whole lot of wedding content however we are moving on into the next chapter if you have been following our um our home series like our home search gauntlet is what i've called it because it's just in this market it's been nuts so yeah so subscribe if you're interested in that thank you again so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video bye